And the pile face down. Yep, there's one pile, and I don't want to influence you, so whenever you feel like stopping, stop. You want to stop. You sure you want to stop there? You want to go a couple more? Set those down. Now, I do play card games. What? Do you play card games at all? So I want you to deal face down again, but I want you to deal one to me, one to you, one to me, like that. Like we're playing a game. It may or may not come out even, depending on whether you stop even or not. I think I can get two of you, but it doesn't matter. If we're not actually playing a game. So there's a circle and a square. Set one of them next to one pile and one of them next to the other. And I really use it. So we'll turn over the top cards. I don't want to touch that. And then the top card here. So you dealt till you felt like stopping. And you dealt out two hands. You put the coins down exactly where you wanted. And my prediction had been sitting here the entire time. And it was for three hearts with a circle. <laughs> and I chose three hearts. <laughs> So what you're saying is that the devil's real. That's what you're saying. You know, it's, it's a bit of a joke to say that, but I remember when I was in the Navy, and I was still a Christian at the time, and there were some guys, particularly folks from the South who grew up like in a culture of voodoo and other stuff, I would do a card trick, and then they would say, you know, oh, how does it feel to have, you know, all that demonic power? And I'd get mad. Because first of all, I worked my ass off to be able to do the shit first. <laughs> second of all, I was a Christian, and when you start saying that I'm using demonic magic, so I would show them how the trick worked, yeah. and they would say, "That's not what you did the first time." <laughs> <laughs> so I can pull the pants off of you using actual side of air, uh, but I chose to use demonic energy the first time. I did. That's what a master would do, though.